I'm going to show you one more way to monitor the health of your beehive without opening it up. If you are a beginner beekeeper, you may not know that the internal temperature and humidity of the hive is critical to a healthy colony. In the brood area of the hive, the temperature must remain between 93 and 97 degrees, a range of only 4 degrees. Although there are a few videos showing complex and expensive monitoring systems, I am going to show you a readily available remote recording sensor that only costs 15 bucks. Although this video focuses on the time when the brood is being raised, healthy honeybees raise and lower the internal temperature of the hive all year long. Look at this graph. A new colony of bees was introduced into the hive in mid-April. The temperature and humidity varies throughout the day. Now look at what happens to the reading starting on May 12th. A stunning change. Looking at this, you can tell that the bees are regulating the temperature inside the hive and that the queen is actively laying healthy brood. Contrast that to a colony with a laying queen that cannot regulate their internal temperature. This hive is in trouble. Or in this case, where the queen has been lost. This is one of the reasons that opening your hive too frequently or under the wrong weather conditions can be harmful to your bees. You are disturbing their microclimate. Now that you know why monitoring the internal temperature and humidity of your beehive is important, I'll show you two inexpensive ways to do this. After that, I'll show those of you who are building bottle beehives how to install your $15 sensor. For those using Langstroth hives, the $35 brood minder is a quick and easy solution. The graphs previously shown are from their Bee Counted project. For less than half that price, you can purchase this unit on Amazon. If I get enough requests in the comments below, I will do a video on how to repackage this unit to go into a Langstroth hive. This is the reading from the $15 sensor in one of my swarm traps. As you can see, there is no activity in the hive. For our bottle-to-bottle -bottle beekeepers, these units are easy to install. They are the perfect fit for the neck of the top of the bottle of your hive and can be easily removed when adding supers or removing the top bottle from the hive stack with zero contact with the bees inside. And since the area that you are opening is a fraction of the surface area exposed when opening a Langstroth hive, you aren't disrupting the internal temperature of the hive nearly as much. Good for you, good for the bees. For a round bottle beehive, take the cap from a 32 ounce Gatorade bottle. Test that it will fit through the top opening of your bottle spout. It should be a snug fit. If you feel it is too snug, you can sand it or whittle away at the solid part of the rim. Cut out the top of the Gatorade lid. Cut a corresponding circle of metal window screen and hot glue it into the lid without gumming up the threads. This lets the air flow through to the sensor and keeps the bees from covering the sensor with propolis. Next, cut the band off the Gatorade bottle's neck. Sand or whittle down the ridge on the bottle's neck. You're trying to trim it back so it doesn't exceed the width of the threads or cap on the Gatorade bottle. You'll know you have it right when you can slide it into the neck of the bottle. Cut the bottom half of the bottle off here where it narrows. Now you're going to make four tabs out of the bottom of the Gatorade bottle. From the top, measure four tabs, three quarters of an inch apart, draw a line straight down, and then cut these tabs with your box knife or your cheap pair of dollar store scissors. When you're done, you will have four tabs that extend down from the neck of the bottle. Screw this piece onto the screen cap and insert cap first into the five gallon bottle's neck. Push the cap down until it is near the bottom end of the spout. You can use the sensor to push down if you need to. Test removing the cap out of the top of the hive spout by pulling up on the plastic tabs. Adjust if necessary. Reinsert the cap and tabs. Activate the sensor by removing the battery tab. You're going to be unhappy if you forget to remove the tab. Test fit the sensor. 
If it is a good fit, bend the tabs over the top of the sensor, trim off any excess if required, and then screw a solid top onto your round bottle beehive. Install the app on your phone if you haven't already done so and test your unit's readings. You should do this right away upon receiving your sensor so that if it doesn't work properly, you can return it to Amazon.